my mind. I see you in all the pieces. Well, good Saturday afternoon, everyone. I'm here today to talk to you again. I told you that I was going to be coming at you with an all about me tag, so today is the day. It is very wintry here. Uh, I am chilling at home today. Um, we got a surprise storm last night and it was icy and snowy when I left work yesterday and the roads are just iced over right now. It's supposed to warm up a little bit today and kind of melt some of this stuff away. But the city that I'm in is not like the major cities like New York and Chicago and all these big cities that used to this type of weather. So when we get one to two inches of anything like ice or snow, it shuts the city down. So two of the major tunnels are closed. We had a highway shut down. So it's just a mess. So I love these days because I can just chill at home and I'm listening to my music, watching movies. And I think my grandsons can come spend some time with me today. So I'm here to do my All About Me tag. And this was from Yvette. And um, she just wanted to know a little bit about me. So here I go. <laughs> Okay, she wanted to know, what is my middle name? My middle name is Marie. I never really tell anybody that name because I never liked it as a child, but uh, as I've grown, I guess, become an adult, I appreciate the name more. My dad named me, so I like it. It's Marie. What do you want to be when you grow up? And when I was young, I wanted to be a social worker, and that never came to pass, but I think it was bringing me to this point where I'm at now where I feel that I uh, want to encourage and inspire other women to be the best that they can be, no matter what your situation may be. So I think that still kind of ties into Did you know, play sports work. at school or any other activities. Yes, I did. Um, I was on the flag squad. Uh, I was very quiet my, I think my sophomore year of school, but when I became a junior, I became a little bit more outgoing. So I was on the flag squad. I was on the pep squad. I was on the dance team and I sung in the choir and I ran track and field. Um, 440 dash, that was my run. But um, yeah, that's what I did. <laughs> did you have a boyfriend? I had a boyfriend my sophomore year. His name was Gerald. And I dated him probably all of that year. And then I think I didn't have another boyfriend until maybe the end of my senior what year. What is your favorite <laughs> color? My favorite color is red. You can't see in my apartment right now, but if you look to look around, you can see plenty of red. I have a red chair here. I have red pillows on my sofa and my um, my chase here. Uh, I wear a lot of red. I have a red microwave. I have red lamps, so red. Uh, but pink and purple is a close runner-up. <laughs> what music are you currently listening to, and what's your favorite artist? Currently, I'm listening to Kim, John Legend. My favorite artists are, I have three actually. I can't really tie it into one. And even if I thought back a ways, I probably could find some other ones. But right now I would say Kim, um, Brian McKnight is from the old school. I love his voice. And the multi-talented and one of a kind singer, Whitney Houston. I don't think there's no female that can touch her voice. And uh, past or present, I think she was just awesome. So those are my favorite. What is your favorite food? My favorite foods are fish. I am um, a real picky eater, but I love some grilled salmon and uh, or blackened salmon, and I love catfish. It has to be farm raised catfish. I don't like when people just go out to the river and throw their little, you know, fishing rod out there and and get that type of catfish. I like the farm raised. They was bred up in a clean pond. But yes, those are my favorite foods, catfish and salmon. I also like as a vegetable is asparagus. Okay, the next question was, what country would you visit if you, uh, that you haven't visited if you could? And I would say that I would love to go to France. Um, never been there. That is actually definitely on my um, bucket list. I want to visit Paris, so yeah. I've been to the Caribbean. That was number two, but I've been there, so definitely France. What are your favorite stores to shop in? My favorite stores is Macy's and Target. I can find just about anything I want in Macy's as far as shoes or clothing that I like, style, uh, bedding, uh, jewelry, and Target 
is another one. I do my grocery shopping at Target. I, I buy a lot of my hair products from Target, cards, um, appliances. So definitely Macy's and Target's are my favorite. My favorite vacation getaway. That would have to be the all-time favorite, the beach. I love the beach. The beach, beach to me is very quiet. I can turn it up or I can turn it down. Um, so definitely when I need to relax, get away, if I've been stressed out, uh, I love to go to the beach. I grab me a book. I get me a blanket if it's in the cool time of the year. I can sit out for hours just looking at the water. It calms me when the sun sets. It's the most awesome thing I've ever seen. Um, I love to take photography, so um, photos rather. So when I go to the beach, I definitely take my camera so that I can photograph the, you know, the sun um, setting all across the ocean or the Gulf, because I usually go to the Gulf. And um, I love to see the seagulls when they're flying over the water. And uh, it's just beautiful. It's a beautiful thing. <laughs> favorite movies. Um, I can't say I really have a favorite, but if I had to think of some movies off the top of my head that I really, really like, I would say Roots. That movie makes me cry no matter how many times I look at it. It's sad, but it has a beautiful ending. So I definitely like Roots. Um, um, it's a, I can't think of the uh, other movie that I, I liked that had Whitney Houston and um, it's, a, it's like a cast of women right off the top of my head. But I'm going to scroll it right here because I just had a like a, a blank moment. <laughs> How many children do I have? I have three children. I have one son and two daughters. Uh, my son is 30. I have a daughter that's 26. She's about to turn 27. And my baby is 22. Would you marry again? Yes. <laughs> Who are your favorite YouTubers? I have a few that I really, really, really love. But if I have to say channels that I watch most often, it would have to be Border Hammer. And I'm actually going to link their uh, channels in the description box below so you guys can check them out. Um, her style, yo, she does a lot of uh, wig reviews and she's awesome. She can hook up some units. So if you ever want to learn how to fix a unit, how to uh, do the parting, make it look natural, check her channel out. I'm going to link her down there as well. Um, Mahogany Curls, she's a natural sister. She's one of the people that inspired me to continue my journey about natural hair. Although her texture of hair is just awesome. It just seems like she really has don't have to do a whole lot to it for it to be beautiful. But just the fact that I can appreciate the beauty of her hair makes me appreciate the beauty of mine. So definitely check her channel out. And uh, my invisible Crystallis. She's just hilarious. She's a beautiful young lady. And uh, she's funny. She does a lot of things. She does a lot of hauls. She does wig reviews. She talks about herself. So definitely those are uh, some of my top five. Uh, did I say five or four? Well, those are four. But... Um, I guess the another one would be African Export. I love her as well. Okay. And my final question that I'm going to do, because there was a lot of questions on this All About Me tag, but the last one that I'm going to do is what inspired me to start my channel. Um, just the motivation of wanting to um, encourage women. I started out doing it with my natural hair, um, but it gave me a platform to do something else that I love, and that is to be encouraging to women. Um, to show sisterhood that we as women we can get along that we can inspire one another that we can love one another and be inspirational and motivational and encouraging uh, that is like one of my passions I think that's my purpose and that is why I started it and as long as YouTube will have me uh, I intend to continue to just inspire women if I touch one life I will be have I will feel successful in that um, I get so many messages from people who said they watched a video that encouraged them or they felt a certain way until they saw that video and it inspired them to get up and to do something different or it made them feel that they're not alone in the situation. That right there gives me all the satisf satisfaction that I could ever want from having my channel. So that is all about me. So I'm tagging you guys if you feel like you want to do it. 
uh, please be inspired to do so. It's fun. It's exciting to hear some things about you. And I intend on doing some more tags. I think it was a little fun to me as well. So enjoy the rest of your Saturday, and I'll talk to you soon. Take care. Peace.